Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us opportunities after opportunities to have our sins be forgiven for. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, As-salawat al-khams, the five daily prayers, wa Ramadan ila Ramadan, and from one Ramadan to the next, and wa Jum'at ila al-Jum'ah, and from one Jum'ah, Friday to the next, he said, Mukafiratu lima baynahunna idha jtunibat al-kabair. These are expiations for those, for expiations between them, for those who avoid major sins. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the five daily prayers. And you might say, why, why is it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has asked us to pray in the morning, and then at noon time, and then at sunset, and then at night time. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put these ibadats, acts of worship, at different intervals and different times of the day? And also we have different types of worship. Every time we have, every week, we have a Jumu'ah. And then every year, we have Ramadan. These, these are pit stops for us, stops where we can refuel ourselves. Like when you're traveling, you're not going to be able to reach your destiny and re reach your destination. If you do not refuel, <clears throat> sometimes you have to stop. You have to refuel your, yourselves, your car. You might need a little bit of rest before you continue on if it's a long, long, a very, very long journey. So, in this life that we're living right now, this is a journey. But what is the fuel that keeps us going, that helps us to continue on this journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to, in the end, inshaAllah, to the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is that fuel that will help us continue going? Because even our cars, if we do not refuel our cars, they will stall and stop in the middle. So in life, the same thing. That's why the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, these five daily prayers, these are pit stops so that we can refuel ourselves with what? The daily pit stops are the five daily prayers. The weekly pit stop. Is the Jumu'ah, the Friday prayer, the yearly pit stop, is Ramadan. And the once in a lifetime pit stop is Hajj. And these pit stops, we have to refuel ourselves with Taqwallah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَتَزَوَّدُوا فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ زَادْ أَتَّقْوَى وَتَزَوَّدُوا Take provisions. You take provisions for your journey, but the best provision you can take is taqwallah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why during this month, this is the month of refueling ourselves. Refueling ourselves with taqwallah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, بَعْدَ نَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون. O ye who believe, fasting has been prescribed upon you. Just as it was prescribed upon those before you, so that you may, in hopes that you may acquire taqwa. In hopes that you may acquire taqwa, without taqwa, we will not be able to go and continue in this life in a way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. 